Good morning. I am Deacon Peter. And this morning, I would like to begin our Tuesday tune-up with a message from Paul found in Corinthians. Paul says, The point is this. The one who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And the one who sows beautifully will also reap beautifully. Each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that by always having enough of everything, you may share abundantly in every good work. As it is written, he scatters abroad, he gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. And you will be enriched in every way for your great generosity, which will produce thanksgiving to God for us. For the rendering of this ministry not only supplies the needs of the saints, but also overflows with many thanksgiving to God. I first heard this passage when I was a young man. I had a wife, small children, and I'd just been going to church for about six months. And like many of us, it seems like our lives was in constant financial crisis. Our mortgage took up about 70% of, our, of my income. And it seems like taxes and utilities took all the rest. We only had about $20 a week to purchase food. But this was made a bit easier because we grew nearly all the produce and fruit that we needed. We had a large garden and a small fruit orchard. And each fall, Kathy would can the vegetables and the fruits so the food would become available for us the rest of the year. She even made, handmade the baby food from our fruits and vegetables. Our children truly ate organically. But Sundays were always difficult for me. Because when the offering plate was passed, we seldom had any money to give it. When we did, it was usually a quarter, and once in a while, a dollar. I felt so guilty that I could not give more. I didn't know it at the time, but this guilt was separating me from Jesus. But then I heard this message from Paul. Paul pronounces that God loves a cheerful giver. He wasn't asking me to be guilty. He did not want us to feel forced or obligated to give. He wants us to cheerfully give with a sense of gratitude. As Paul said, each of you must give as you have made up your mind, not reluctantly and not under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Wow! My guilt was instantly gone. And now I knew that I did not matter how much I give. What was important is I give it cheerfully. On this day, I began to be involved in a new ministry called Stewardship. And to me, stewardship is not fundraising. No. Stewardship is all about gratitude. Jesus teaches us that giving for his ministry should bring joy, not guilt. And it should come through the gratitude we feel for all the gifts we have received. I wonder if you have noticed that the Stewardship Committee at Epiphany is called the Committee on Gratitude. This is no accident, because their mission is not to ensure our annual budget is funded. That is the vestry's responsibility. No, their function is to help us experience the true joy of giving. And there are many ways to give. We can give money 
our time, and our talents. Giving for God's ministry here on earth for those in need can be powerful. And this power comes through gratitude. I have often been asked, how much should I give? Is it the tithe, 10%? And my answer is always the same. You should give what brings you joy. During Lent, you will be receiving some opportunities to give as a parish family. One way will be to go to the diocesan website and donate to the Episcopal Relief and Development Fund designated for Ukrainian Refugee Relief. There is not much we as individuals can do to stop the war in Russia, but we can help these refugees. Also, you will soon hear about an opportunity to help the children at St. Jude's in Boulder City. They are looking for, a, for luggage donations so the children do not have to carry their items to their new home in garbage bags. This is degrading. We can help by donating unused or used luggage as they can carry their few possessions with dignity to their new homes. Gratitude is why God wants us to give. And as Paul says, God loves a cheerful giver. Goodbye. God bless. Enjoy the rest of your morning.